What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to HN Clothings. Welcome to another wonderful video. In this video, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful dress right here. This dress has so many design elements included in it the casket, the yoke, the mesh insert, bustier, long sleeves. Guys, I'm sure you really do not want to miss out on this video, so please do keep on watching. We're going to talk on the pattern drafting here. We're going to walk through that process. And then the next part is going to be how to sew this up. So definitely stay tuned and let's dive right in. All right, guys, so let us begin. We have our front and back bodies pattern to the full length, to my dress length. And then we're going to start manipulating. We'll start from the front and... First things first, I'm going to measure my half length. There's a joining on the waistline. To my half length, I'm going to use 18 inches there. Mark that point and then already chop it off. Next thing we'll do is to work on the princess cut since there's going to be a princess cut on this bodies. Okay, so I'm also using the opportunity to tighten under the bust just a bit. Don't do too much tightening. Just a bit is okay. Next thing is to close up the dart so that I can work on the upper part of this dress. Now we're going to do the basic neck for the yoke part. Basic neck, I'm going to be using measure your shoulder and then how wide you want the neck to be. Eight inches shoulder, I want the neck to be three and a half inches wide and four inches deep. Next thing will be to work on the yoke area, how much low the yoke is going to get to. For this yoke, from this armhole, I'll just go measure four inches below. You can do three and a half or whatever you want to. Then just draw a straight line, get into this part here. So I'm just slanting it a bit. And from there, I'll just connect it. It shouldn't be sharp. Cover it at that corner and then connect it to how deep you want it to be. So I'll just make it get to here, my true bust. You can make it go below the true bust. So something of that nature. So this is what we'll have. This will be the yoke. And these are the pieces for the front. So I'll just go right ahead to separate it. Finally, you can open this back up and separate as well. Cut along the dart line. And these are the pieces you're going to be having. Okay. Now, also, on this yoke area, there is a connection of mesh attached to it. That is greatly dependent on you. If you want that mesh connection, please feel free to do that already. So if we're going to be putting that just from here, just make it connect. The yoke is not so visible. And this part is your center front. Let me put it center front. So you're cutting unfold. 
we're going to be using mesh here this one to center front so you're cutting this part on fold okay so this is the front which is ready for us i'm going to separate that um, mesh area as well but i don't want to cut here because it's too tiny so at this stage you can just draw your grain lines to help you know how to place your pattern when you'll be cutting all right so let's go right ahead to the bottom part of the front for the bottom part of the front measure what you have here about one inch just take it out from the side For the back we do the same thing measure the same length you had for the front to your half length so what i technically do is just take my side piece for the front place it right there on the back and then just measure up onto so placing armhole to armhole measure up onto where the front was where the front stopped and then i just draw my line there For the back, what we can do right here is to do a princess seam if you want a princess seam on the back. Connect the princess seam because I'll be wanting that on the back as well. Um, I can also redraw my armhole. Okay, this is my one inch here. From here to here, about eight, eight and a half inches, which is my gut is already increased included so i measure three and a half here for my neck width that's from that zip allowance measure three and a half and how deep or low i want it to get to two inches is fine so two inches is okay here Remember to put in your sewing allowance for all your patterns. So let's work on the bottom part of the back. We have a dart that we're just going to remove. I'll remove the dart from the side seam. Let me measure what I have here. About half an inch. I'll just remove that. Just connect it to the hip line. Beautiful. so we are through let's put in our seam allowance for all the patterns and then cut on fabric and be right back all right so all the patterns have been cut on fabric i increased the length for the bottom part of the dress to uh, make it longer to make it like, like a midi length dress and then i cut my sleeve that same way cut you pieces of a sleeve for the left and for the right as well as all the pieces for the front putting in the sewing allowances and the pieces for the back with the sewing allowance so that small piece here will be for the mesh double all right so now that we have all the pieces ready let us move over to working on the cascade for the flare the flare part of the dress i'm going to be using this fabric for the flare part of the dress um i'll fold it into two
So what we start to do is to work on the spiral. We do the spiral design that way. So here is the where the fold gets to. This part. Let me just <clears throat> state that. You can then look for the midpoint from the start to the end point. That's about 22. So the midpoint should be here. So from there, I'll first draw a circle. Okay. After which, you can then start the spiral. So this is the spiral cascading effect that we have cut. Um, here's what you should be having. And I have four of this, four of this. So I will sew two for one sleeve two for the other because this is going to serve as the lining as well and now we can move right on to sewing our dress 